When you first move into supported accommodation at Impact, there's a lot to think about. Sorting yourself out, sorting your place out, and of course, making sure you have your finances sorted out. Like having enough money to pay for your rent, get food, things you need to buy for your room. There are a lot of things you might want to spend your money on. This could be going out with friends, going to the cinema, makeup, cigarettes, phone contracts, eating out. You've got to take control of your money instead of your money taking control of you. My budgeting skills, um, they're quite bad. <laughs> they are quite bad. Like, I'm not very good at budgeting at all. Like, normally the first thing I buy when I get paid is a Starbucks on the way to college. The next thing I buy is, like, my fags and stuff. And then, like, I pay my rent, which is, like, £45. That's gone. And then, normally, like, a food shop is last on the list. <laughs> I normally go out first. <laughs> Impact can help the young people uh, save money when they come into the service by looking at where they are when they first get here, really. So are they in a position where they have bank accounts open? Are they in a position where they're actually getting any income at all? Have they got any arrears or anything that they need to address? Um, so they work with the independent living worker to, to basically find out where they are to begin with. And that gives a starting point for independent living workers to then say... What's your plans for the future? Where do you want to go? Have you ever thought about saving? Do you know what your options are? And all our team are really skilled in, in working with the young people to do that, but also pointing them to different agencies that we really work in close partnership with. So, how do we prioritise what we spend our money on? It's not all about the money you need now to get things. It's also about the money you will need in the future. It's important to start thinking about what you will need when you move out into your own accommodation. Um, when I first had to budget and like deal with my own money, it was quite hard because I'd never been in control of my money before. So it was like, oh my God, I've got money. I can spend it on whatever I want. And then I'm now thinking, wait a minute, I've got to think about rent. I've got to think about food. And then I've got to think about, I'm not going to be here forever. I need to think about what I need to save so that when I move on to my property, I'm going to have some money. I, um, I save my money by writing down what I have to buy and then thinking how much I can save and I put it into my savings account and I put it into my savings account each week even though it's only a little bit and it's not a lot because I know if I kept it in my bank I'd spend it on something I don't really need. Advice I give to new residents coming into the service about budget and saving is... Don't think that you're going to be living here forever. Think about what you're going to be moving on to and what you're going to need to move on. And just be careful with your money. Don't spend it all in one go. Try to write down what you're going to, what you need and what's coming in, what's going out. And then you know if you can save some money and try your hardest to save just a little bit because a little bit can go a long way. Impact have an incentive to help you look at saving now to help you move on with your money in the future. There are credit unions across the county. All you need is to become a member and Impact will give you £5 to put into your new savings account. Now you can start saving. Credit union helps people get into a regular savings habit. People open savings accounts with credit union for a variety of number of reasons. Some people just want to save um, regularly. Uh, draw it out for Christmas or holiday or you can save to borrow so if you save regularly for eight weeks you can borrow double what you saved my advice to young people saving I find a lot of them feel that they can't save because you have to put a lot of money away but if you you know set up two pound a week all year you know five pound a week five pound a week would be 260 pounds in a year so it's not about the level the amount of saving that you do it's the regularness of it and having something to fall back on because we do find a lot of our young members have forgot it comes out the bank five in a week they forgot about it and they're well chuffed because they've got like 150 and it's just accumulated but if you ask people if they could afford to save some people would say no but if they get it out before they get it in the hand they really like that idea don't worry help is at hand if you need help to budget or work out how you can save a little now to help you in the future, Impact can help. 
You can talk with your independent living workers who will look at how to get the best from your money. There is help available online to give you advice about saving or you could talk to other residents who already have a credit union account. Advice is also available through our partnership with the local Barclays Bank who offer a personalised service to you in all money related matters. And don't forget you can make use of the Impact Furniture Services, it's always worth a visit. Or get involved with the Wanted Offers Swap Scheme where you can exchange what you don't want for what you do. So what are you waiting for? It's time to get moving with money.